Hello and welcome to another video of our live stream. Uh, this part, I think what we're going to have a go of is maybe playing about with the level and maybe the, the tiled level and stuff and see what we can get together. So let's jump on in. <clears throat> so let's have a look. For our purposes, we've got um, the level, yeah. So I want it to be come under kind of renderable and probably updatable because those are things that we'd want it to do. So we can say implements I renderable and also I updatable. Okay. So for this, we want it to have a render and update method somewhere. Let's have a look what we got. We got load, blah, blah, blah. I suppose realistically, we want to be able to kind of update all the entities, for instance. So let's think about that. Um, we've got entities there. So if we want to update them, we can do like a public update method. So in essence, we could say public <coughs> void, uh, let's say update. And for our base, we can just literally have it iterate over all the entities. So I'll say for int i equals zero, while i is less than entities dot, is it size for this? Yeah, size. Then we'll do i plus plus. So for each of those things, we're going to say entities dot get i dot update. We're just going to run update on every single entity that's on the level. So that will be fine for that. Now, we could add a few other things like the offset of where the level currently is, because we probably want to be able to scroll it on the screen in some way, shape or form. Imagine we've got a level and it's bigger than the screen. So we want it starting off, let's say, at X, Y offset of something and then moving in some way. So we want to be able to kind of scroll around the level, scroll the screen around. So we probably want some sort of an offset thing. We can pop that directly into level here, I think. I'll we'll say um, public void set offset. That means we need an actual offset. So have we actually got that inside level anywhere? No. So we're going to have like a X offset and a Y offset then. There we go, X and Y offsets. So that way, when we're setting offset, we can say int X offset and int Y offset. And then just literally set them. There we go. So that wasn't too painful, right? So the next sort of thing I'd like to do is do some stuff with the tile level. Let's let's have a look at our tile class first and see what we can do with that. Let's see. Let's look at our tile. At the moment, it's just got standard starting thing where it just has that. Maybe we want something where we can actually get the width and height of it as well. We want to give it some form of width and the height, perhaps. So it's got a sprite. Let's give it a protected uh, int width and height. For now, I'm going to hard code those to like 64 pixels for now. You can always change that at some point. Okay, so that'll do. Uh, and we're creating this thing, but we want like getters and setters and stuff now, probably, uh, or at least getters. We, we can probably just have it set on initialization at some point. I don't know, but we'll think about that. Um, so let's just do a get width and height for now. So, int, so we ideally want this to be public. Int get height.
Oops, turn the height. Same again with width. Right. <clears throat> I also want to be able to pull all the pixels from this sprite or, or from the sprite of this sort of thing. So basically, we'll do a public interray get pixels. And for now, this is going to return our sprite dot get pixels. There we go. Sort of a little light wrapper around it. So now that we've got our tile done, let's think about our actual um, tile level. So we'll just have a look at our level in general. What's the level mine about? Somewhere around the levels, having a little moan. What about exactly just yet? Oh, somehow I managed to get a zero on the end there. Don't know why. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. So let's have a look at our tiled level. So let's zoom in a little bit. So obviously this extends level. So the problem here is it, it needs to implement some stuff. Um, to start off, let's think about our actual tile size. Um, let's actually give it a tile size. So private int tile size equals, again, 64 still. Uh, we've got our tiles. We've got our other bits and pieces. Well, I'll start one. I want to be able to set the tile size at any given time. So let's have a look. We've got to get tile. I want to be able to set tile size. Uh, public void set tile size. Taking in an integer of tile size. This dot tile size is equal to tile size. Okay, so that's fine. Now, when we're loading up the thing, have we got a load yet? We've got to get tile. We've got a load here. So look at our load. All it does is it sets the pixels. We want to do a few more things than just this, because I mean, we're getting the pixels. We need to kind of tell it a few things still. In fact, while we're doing that, we don't necessarily just want the pixels themselves. We want the tiles to be loaded in some way. Yeah. So for that, we're going to have to kind of change this up a bit because our pixels are not exactly what it is that we want directly. So we're loading the file name. We, we're then utilizing that file name to get the pixels. Uh, where's our level? We've got a level get pixels. I don't think we've got to get pixels on the level, have we? Hmm. So how are we going to do that? Hmm. Yeah. So I think we're gonna we're gonna have to kind of make it like get pixels. It's going to be a little bit more complex than just standardized one that we do so so yeah let, let's do that first. uh or do we no we can just call it tiles i suppose um instead of pixels directly or hmm let's have a look what we got at the start of this we've got tiles we've got set tiles set tiles we don't actually have pixels do we that's kind of doing that to load in the texture. But we're going to do that slightly differently. So we're going to be dealing with getting the pixels slightly differently to that. So let's actually do that. Let's say that we'll um, just think. Yeah, get pixels is just going to return the tiles, basically. So the tiles are going to be set when we actually um 
loading loading we'll, we'll change that to like tiles <clears throat> and that get pixels will be um, texture format rgb for now so that's kind of doing the loading in we might want to add some more stuff to that soon um, load the texture in mm, yeah i think we just want to load the texture in first i might separate that into separate things in a moment just the thought process whilst i'm going through um yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to separate that out a little bit because what i want to do is i want to set this as an actual level first when we're loading it so we're kind of loading the level in almost aren't we so Instead of tiles, we'll just call this a level, and this will be a texture. So first, we'll say texture level equals that. Okay. Then, once we've got that, we can then say, okay, my tiles are equal to this. um now i probably want some sort of a level get pixels with a little bit more to it but for now that will do then i want to set my width and height based upon what the levels width and height is so i'll say um width equals level dot uh, get width and height equals level get height. Okay, so now we've got the tiles, we've got the width, and we've got the height of the level, and we've loaded in the actual texture from the level. Let's take a look at our get tile, make sure that's all looking good. Yep, and yep, that looks fine. So Next, we can think about rendering. Have we got a render at all? No? We've got a generate. Let's see if we wanted to generate a level of some sort. Let's say public void render. Now, our render, we need to give it like a int x and an int y. And also, I want to send in the screen. So we can render stuff. So we're going to have to do a couple of things. We need to make some sort of an offset over the tile size so we can render each tile as it goes. So let's say int x0 is equal to our x offset divided by our tile size. So that way we can kind of control this thing. And int x1 is going to be the end position of that. So what we need to do is we want to say is equal to, we need it to be returning an int. It's not guaranteed it's going to be an int. So what we want to do is we want to say x0 plus screen dot get width over screen dot get scale. We need to make a get scale here for the screen by looking at it. Yeah, so that's something we don't actually have, I don't think. I don't think I've wrote one of those. Divided by tile size. And then after that, we've got to add two to it to give it that sort of padding and extra ability there. Okay. Then we need a similar thing for the um for y literally the same pretty much so let's go here and here copy this paste it now all we got to do is we've got to change that x to a y go over change that to a y then go over here instead of get width we want get height still scale still tile size still plus two so that's fine so once we've got to that point 
we can then kind of start iterating over those things and, and rendering the stuff. Yeah. So let's say for this thing, I'll just call it, I don't know, in YY for now. Um, set that to zero. And while YY is less than our height, we'll do YY plus plus. Then we need a nested X. So we'll do for int XX equals zero, while XX is less than um, width XX plus plus. Okay, so now we've got the inners of our thing. So now we need to check that it's within bounds. So we say if XX is less than um, X zero or XX is greater than or equal to X one, then we're gonna be out of bounds, in which case we can continue. Same thing for the Ys. So if I were to now say, okay, or same sort of thing here, just change that to Ys. Let's copy that, paste that. That's all going to be a button. Y, 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 zero, Y, Y, and Y, one. So that's all of those things. So if any of those is true, then don't render, just continue on to the next iteration. Otherwise, we'll set the tile, tile equal to get tile. And we need to pass it XX comma YY. Okay, so now we've got our current tile to do something. Now, if this is null, or well, there's nothing there. We can say if tile um, is equal to null, we also want to continue. We don't want to do it. Don't render it if it's not. If, otherwise, let's just carry on. So now we want to say int our tile x is equal to negative x offset plus xx multiplied by our tile dot get width. Okay. Same again, but height and the yy sort of side of it. So let's do this. Copy that and paste. It's going to be changed to height. This is going to be changed to YY. This will be the Y offset, and that's TY. Okay. Now we can go off and render it. So let's just say I want to do a screen dot render TX, comma, TY, comma, tile. There's not been any parentheses. Just that an end in screen. There we go. So that'll be us rendering a tile. Okay. And that's literally it. We need to do a get scale on the screen. So let's go over to our screen. Have I done I've done the rest of the scaling, haven't I? Uh or have I? I think I have. Yeah, I've got a scale there. So, so get scale, we just need to add that. Mm, I'll just add it. Not there will do. Public uh, int get scale. Return scale. Doesn't like that. What is the scale then? Is, is it a double? Hang on, did I do it as a double? Yeah, sorry. Don't know why I'm thinking there's an in there. So now that should theoretically be okay. Let's see if I broke anything. 
Let's run that. Uh, load light extends level. So we've got a couple of issues here. Uh, need to override something. Let's look. Uh, tile is not abstract and does not override abstract method get pixels. Did I put it in the wrong place? Let's get pixels. Did I forget to override it? I'm sure I've, hmm. Maybe I don't want it to be abstract. Did I, not, I just don't get pixels, didn't I? Don't tell me I'd put it in level instead. Nope, okay, sorry. Didn't do get pixels. Set tile so I'm sure I just did get pixels. I must have just literally imagined it. Sorry about that. Mm, yeah, that's fine. So we need to public interray get pixels. That's going to literally return tiles. That doesn't make sense. Does it? Yeah, that. Hmm. Did I put that in tile then or something? Double check something. I sprite got pixels, that's fine. That's why, because I kind of done the sprite get pixels, I've got it way laid on that. Let's make sure this still runs. Nope, some other problems now. What are we doing here? New screen with our width height. What are we missing now? Cannot be applied to given types. Int int double. Found int int. Oh, didn't didn't put the scale in. Updating. I'll probably still need to do that a few places actually. But that's kind of working. It's sort of doing its thing. Now, in reality, we want to kind of pass on the scale there, wouldn't we? So instead of doing that, I'm just going to say scale. See if that makes any difference. Interesting. Rendering there, but I've scaled it by the look on it. I've scaled it on the X, but not the Y. So I've got a few rendering things to deal with still. But we'll fix that on the next video. There's a couple of bits that we need to deal with, I think. Or should we just fix them? Shall we deal with that? I don't think whether it's worth doing that now, just to kind of hmm. no, we'll deal with that in another one. We've we've got a lot of work done. We don't have a perfectly working scale thing, but we'll fix that up on the next one. I think I'll see you in a bit.